So I just found this one out too. So apparently there is an unused uh, cry for gold bat in the prototype of Gen 1. However, though, I think it's actually still in the original Pokemon, uh, red, blue, and yellow. No, it wouldn't surprise me, in green as well. So basically the way it worked was, what happened was, in the prototype 1 version, there was actually a pre-evolution of Zubat called Biddy Bat, or something like that, if that's even what its official name was. However, though, Biddy Bat actually had Zubat's cry, and then Zubat actually had Golbat's cry. So you can kind of see where we're going. So once you get to Golbat, now Golbat's got a different cry. So they ended up scrapping Biddy Bat. They gave um, Zubat um, uh, Biddy Bat's cry and Golbat Zubat's cry. So now we're still left with Golbat's original cry. What did they do with the beta version of Zubat's cry? Well, if you play Pokemon Gen 2... And everybody knows this, Crobat was what Golbat evolved into. I might, I, I think it's possible that maybe Golbat was an idea even for Generation 1 at one point, but they cut it off at some point. Because keep in mind, and this I don't know 100%, but I'll do the best I can to explain it. There is reasons to believe that Sat Satoshi Tajiri did state, and I was watching this in a translated video, so it's very possible, I don't think this is a mistake, but this was coming from Satoshi Tajiri himself. They stated by the time they got done developing uh, Pokemon Generation 1, that they had roughly 300 Pokemon already designed at that point. Maybe not necessarily for Gen 1, but they had a lot of ideas. Um, Pokemon had tons of ideas even before the games were finalized. They ran out of cartridge space, so they had to vote on their favorite ones, and that's kind of what they did. You know, they tried the best they could. And thankfully, most of that content did eventually find its way into the games at some point. So, you know, that's that's a good sign. You know, they had a lot of content, and then they, they stuck with it, so that's cool. So, but one of the mysteries we have, though, we got all these mysteries, if we can find proof of it. But here's one for you. So, basically... The proof is that Golbat would evolve into Crobat, and that beta Golbat cry was actually Cro would later be Crobats. Um, so my guess was that you know at the time they probably thought that Biddy Bat was too small, and it kind of makes sense because if you actually read its texture entry, it states that Biddy Bat was like you need like a couple of them in order to swarm their prey. Meanwhile, it evolves into a Zubat and then eventually Golbat to the point where Golbat can just suck like ounces of blood out of its victim. Like, so it goes from like needing, they need a swarm in, uh, in numbers in order to survive, but then Golbat's just like this blood vicious vampire. I mean, because if you remember, even in Dark Cave, before you get out of Lavender Town, it says beware of, or I mean, I'm sorry, not, not, it, it was a uh, Mount Moon, you know, there was that sign by the last that stated that. You know, beware of Zubats. They're blood suckers. And, you know, even though Zubat's not really that hard to kill, but, it, you know, if you start out with Bulbasaur, you always had to, like, use, like, another Pokemon because Bug-type moves were super effective against Grass and Bug... Uh, yeah, Poison-types, I believe, too. Um, I think it was just a Grass-type being... Yeah, Grass-type was super effective by Bug-type moves. But anyways... Um, anyways, so, basically... When Generation 2 rolled around, and I think even in the 1997 Space World demo, Crobat was even supposed to be in that game. Um, even if it wasn't, but you know, you get the idea. So, um, but anyways, Crobat was eventually finalized. Golbat would eventually, and then here we have this Pokemon Crobat. Crobat eventually is evolved into, from a Golbat. Golbat evolves into Crobat through, I think, was like Max Friendship. I mean, that even explains why, even, even in that one episode where Team Rocket was getting away in the anime, you know, Brock believed in his Golbat and it evolved into Crobat to the point where he was able to catch up to them because he's got that extra wing, those extra two wings. So, Crobat's speed is like through the roof, you know. But... So basically, if you listen really carefully to the cry, it, it does sound like a gold bat. And then it was um, just eventually kind of repitched into crowbats. So that would explain Zubat's family. And eventually they did something with it. So they probably thought, well, Bitty Bat's too small, so Zubat's fine. And then eventually they scrapped uh, that and Golbat just evolved into another monster. So not only was it a bloodsucker, but at the same time, though, it was a fast. Like you, like escaping Crobat. Imagine, imagine like, like something moving that fast. 
usually really hard to outmaneuver something that's pretty fast and very accurate to like a hunter you know it's um again i could i could imagine crowbat being a, a very good killer as far as like sucking its blood out of its victims and and uh hunting if uh if it ever did other than just uh eating sucking the life out of something but it's uh pretty cool very fast vampire very fast vampire bat indeed the only thing that you know because crowbat's weak against uh let's see it's a flying and a what was it a poison type so psychic types and electric types take it out very easily and i think ice types too if i remember correctly um there could be other ones too but but maybe steel types as well yeah that's pretty cool i was like how like skarmory for example you know because it's a steel type uh you know like you know there you could have like a crowbat try to like bite into a skarmory and like you know it's it wouldn't be able to because it's its wings are sharp and all that and it's immune to poison you know because kind of explains why like you know like skarmory could even go around like uh uh, what was it, uh, laying, like, spikes and poison spike traps around. Yeah, pretty interesting, actually. So, that's another one for the books. But if I make another video, I will be glad to update it. Um, I'm still digging through this stuff. There's a lot of ideas, man, let me tell you. But if you really pay attention, you can really figure it out over time. So, again, comment, rate, subscribe, favorite, share this video. Uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel already, please do. There will be tons of Pokemon scrap content videos because or theories because this is just interesting to talk about